this purpose of the video is to explore the differences between Baroque cello and modern cello. Cello in this two period had totally different in structure, shape, function, and so on. And all of these elements are suitable for the requirement and musical characteristic in their own time. Cello has a long history and also experienced a lengthy and growing process. Compared to today, cello in Baroque time had a lot of differences in tuning, size, structure, string, and so on. At first, I want to show you the differences in tuning neck and string of cello. In Baroque, cello strings were described as B flat, F, C, G, with from fourth string to the first string. Each string had one note lower than today. Besides, a sort of cello with five strings were recorded which were suitable for playing with and accompanied of cello. In Baroque time, the cello snake and the fingerboard is shorter than modern cello. That is indicate that there were a few demand in playing high pitch at that time. Strings also had a huge change. In early time, majority of cello used a cut guard, it was difficult to make a sound clear. But now, cello used metal nylon string, which make it easier to make a sound flexible and clear, especially in the bass part. Size had been changed a lot in the development history. There were two kinds of cello were popular at that time. One was bigger, which was 79 cm, while another was 71 cm, which was popular in England. Modern cello sample had been invented in the 1710s by Stadivory called B cello, which was 75 cm. It had more reasonable radiant structure and thickness of panel, which made timber better. About the timber, there were also a lot of experiments to improve its flexible and volume in early. Chell largely used a spherical shape, radiant degree of face and backpack was very high, which made a great resonant bass part that were up to the requirement of continua at that time. But with the development of homophony, cellist has to play more complicated music than before. So the expressive and flexible timbre was urgently needed. So the timbre reduced the radiant degree and panel to balance the deep bass and the bright high pitch. In early, both just a stick with a horse here which was strained permanently, so the bow's curvature is too high to control. In early 18th century, Arcangelo Curdy, a violinist from Italy, invented a bow with longer and strainers and tails and a worse swim bill. And then, someone invented crow and tail which adjust the tension of the bow. In 18th, Giuseppe Tartini had the last improvement of stick and make a curved bevel towards to the horse here so that the bow got the best elasticity which made it possible to perform more complex music. Next part is performance skills on left hand. With the development of harmony, cellists should play more complicated music than before. They give up to pinch neck and press the string vertically instead of slanting. Because lack of high pitch, cellists always imitate violinists to shift, but it just solved a little bit problem while some of them try to add another string to tackle with it. In 1730s, late Baroque, Chalice explored a new way gradually, which used left thumb to press string in order to create higher range. In both holding part, there were two ways to hold. French style was a typical way of short bow, which was suitable for playing rhythmical music. Italian style was suitable for playing sonata or some music, which were full of melody and singing. With the advent of modern bow that I mentioned above, the weight of holding bow unified into the Italian style gradually, which put hand approaching to the tail. According to the development, cello became a classical and graceful instrument, as you see. Because the mechanism of playing cello developed as time goes on, 
baroque music are always considered as a kind of rap and simple music. There doesn't seem to be any challenge for Chinese to play baroque music. In fact, the established unique style of baroque music should master a lot of skills like bowing, fingerings, and so on. In baroque music, we certainly use less vibrato, and finger rings are generally designed in lower positions. Finger rings made around these different strings instead of dancing on an identical string. It's not improper to handle long notes on the strings, and the Chinese may have difficulty in vibrato by this way. But no vibrato are regarded as natural and beautiful voice at that time. The early bowls horse here was extremely loose and had great curvature on stake, so it sounds elegant and silky because of the slight stroke with lower tension bow. We should be concentrated on distinguishing the mechanism when playing this period music, even if we are using modern bow. We can imitate the bark bow by handling slightly, attacking fastly, and playing less legato and sustained muto. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.